Today's lesson is going to be on shifts of the demand curve. Uh, the demand curve is what we looked at in the last video, and what you saw in the demand curve was a reflection of the demand schedule. And both the demand schedule and the demand curve showed us the law of demand. That is, that when prices are high, people buy less. When prices are low, people buy more. So here we have um, this young lady here and her demand curve for Starbucks coffee. When the price of coffee is very high at, let's say, $5, she is willing to buy four units of this coffee. But as the price drops from 5 to 4, or from 4 to 3, or from 3 to 2, or whatever, you can see that the amount she is willing to buy changes. As a matter of fact, if we look from 3 to 2, now at 3 she's willing to buy 12, and when that price falls from 3 to 2, she's now willing to buy 16. Uh, in economics, we call this a movement along the demand curve. So this point A to point B is what we call a movement along the existing demand curve. So price, if you will, controls this movement and controls and changes the quantity demanded of the product. Now, if we look at this demand curve, effectively what we're looking at is a snapshot in time. If we consider this lady's life and all of the various decisions she has to make, this curve represents her decision making with respect to Starbucks coffee. That is to say that if everything in her life stays the same, if everything in her life stays exactly as it is, her demand for Starbucks coffee will be as it exists in this curve. I'll say that again. If everything remains the same in her life, her income remains the same, her tastes remain the same, all the things that go into her decision making on a day-to-day -day basis stay the same, then her demand for coffee will exist all along this curve. So the question is, is it possible for this to change? Is it possible for her demand, if you will, for coffee to change? And the answer is yes. So let's think about it. What could change in this lady's life that would influence her consumption of coffee? Think about that for a second. What could influence her life what could change in her life that would cause her to buy more or less coffee? Well, maybe this lady gets a better job, or maybe she loses her job, and her income changes. And so she is no longer able to buy the exact same amount of coffee that she used to buy, right? Her income could change. Maybe her tastes change. And so instead of buying coffee, she just says, you know what? I don't really like coffee anymore. I want to buy fashion clothing, or I want to buy a tablet. I want to spend my money somehow, some in some other way. Maybe she has a baby, and this baby now is taking up some of her income that used to go towards coffee, if you will. So there are a lot of a lot of things that could change in this lady's life that would impact her ability to buy coffee. Thus, her demand for the coffee could change. The video is going to end here, and what we're going to do is pick up in a second video on shifts of the demand curve.